Insta Weather Plus forecast with meteorologist Mary Marshall. Thanks, Dylan. It looks like we will not be left out of the impacts of that Arctic blast. Right now, it feels great, though. 56 in Parkton, 62 in Timonium already. It's 56 in Ellicott City and 59 degrees in Columbia. For today, expect the high temperatures uh, in the 60s, mostly sunny and cool, with the winds coming in out of the southeast up to 8 miles per hour. Very pleasant start to our day. So 61 by 2 o'clock, 62 by 4 p.m., and 57 degrees by 6 o'clock this evening as the sun sets and those temperatures begin to cool just a bit. Satellites, uh, we are are hard pressed to find any clouds out there, but we are watching a disturbance to our south and our east. Uh, this system will move its way uh, just up the coast, just outside of Baltimore. So, on the back end of that tomorrow, we could see a stray shower or at least some clouds pushing in. And then we are watching this other system, this cold front uh, that's just out to our north and our west. You can see it's dumped the snow around Rapid City, around Minneapolis, uh, parts of Denver, getting that rain snow mix, and that cooler air is heading in our direction. We expect that. Front to come in by Wednesday, but there'll still be the potential to see a rain snow mix later this week. So here's a look at those temperatures where that cold air is. Look at that 18 degrees in Bismarck, it's 29 in Minneapolis, and 46 in Denver, and more of that air will continue to dive down. So let's talk about what that means for us. Uh, we start off pleasant, we get that blast of colder air Wednesday, and then it'll continue to filter in through the coming days, and we could still have some colder air in place as another disturbance passes by late Thursday into. Friday, and that could give us the potential for a rain snow mix. And then Sunday, we'll have another potential for that. I'll pause the clock here tomorrow at about, uh, looks like noon tomorrow, a different situation. We have a few more clouds. You see that system just offshore could back in some raindrops in our direction. And if that one doesn't get us, we'll have another chance. Look at this system out to the west of us. That's the cold front that's going to come in. Slated to give some rain to Columbus and then move in our direction where it breaks apart just a bit, but we could still see some sprinkles out of that system as it finally makes its way through. Now, on Thursday during the daytime, it will be dull. We'll continue to see the cold air pour in, but later Thursday night into Friday morning is when we'll have the chance to potentially see some of those uh, flurries mix in with the raindrops or to get our first few flakes around here. So here's another system brewing up off the coast uh, by Thursday into Friday. And we can see Friday uh, early that morning we could get a few flurries before this system completely moves out. So something to keep in mind. Still enough time for things to change, but we'll keep it in mind that uh, we could see some flurries by the end of the week. Exciting, right? 42 degrees tonight, 60 degrees Tuesday, 20% chance for a sprinkle there on Veterans Day. Down to 55 Wednesday. That's the start of that cold air pushing in. 44 Thursday, 20% chance for rain snow. 40 high of 40 Friday with another 20% chance for rain snow.